Well, hello there to all of my Sagittarius. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your general reading, Sagittarius. Let's go. Let's see what your cards have to say, Sagittarius. Let's see what your cards have to say. Happy solar eclipse and happy new moon in Libra, right? Libra is ruled by Venus. Um, and so Venus is the planet of love, pleasure, art, music, aesthetics, erotic love. Um, hmm, just really making your life better here on earth. The color associated with Venus is uh, green. And so when you're not living your best life on this planet, it can make, you know, or, or people feel like you, things are happening before for you. That's not happening for them. It could cause them to be green with envy. So let's see what you on the other side of a cycle looks like. So the cycle is over and we're in a new cycle, a new phase within a new cycle. And let's see what your cards have to say. All right, let's go. Sagittarius. There we go. Seven of Wands. Here we have the Wheel of the Year, the Five of Cups. We have the Sun card, the Six of Pentacles, and the I. I'm sorry, Five of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Wands. Mm -hmm. It is still your year. That's right. It is still your year. You have to do a stay in your light. This is the sun. Right? Stay in your light. Stay in your purpose. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles. We also have the Five of Pentacles. We also have the five of cups, right? So some kind, something has caused you to lament over something, right? And so that number five, that number five means it's a pivotal point in your life. Like, do I go back to allowing people, places, and things to cause me emotional wounding um, as it relates to my security, my prosperity, my career success, my patience? my tenacity? Do I continue to allow energies that cause me to be emotionally wounded and make me feel left out of things or cause me to be left out of things like left out in the cold? Or do I part ways with some things and move forward? It's entirely up to you. It is entirely up to you. But I do see sources saying I'm giving you some time to you know, reel it all in and, and make it make sense, right? Make it make sense for yourself. Like I said, five of pentacles, like I said, the only person that has the key to your vault is you. Every single person on this planet has a purpose. Every person has a purpose on every, every living being on this planet has a purpose. Ants, snakes, dogs, donkeys, cows, of course, human beings have a purpose, right? And so your gifts are making room for you. So source is saying, leave behind clown behavior. Leave behind energies that's try to make you look like a clown. Whoever it is, leave it behind. Here we have the full card. Anything that you see coming up the street and it look like Pennywise, look out the way. Here we have the nine of cups. I'm saying wish fulfilled for you. Again, somebody has some wishes on the other side of this. This is nine of cups, by the way. Somebody definitely has some wishes that have already been fulfilled. So source is saying this would be a great time during this new moon phase, Sagittarius, to really sit down and think about what wishes would I like fulfilled within myself. Like when I look at when I look at the things that I've accomplished, what other wishes would I like to fulfill? Because this looks like somebody's been working really, really hard and something has caused some emotional wounding to kind of sort of jeopardize legacy wealth, right? And so source is saying, look at your life and decide, you know, that five and, that five and 10 of pentacles is right there, close, right? Moving from five of pentacles to 10 of pentacles. Source is saying, what are you looking for approval from other human beings when source has already approved you to have a very rich legacy where you're impacting your the world and the uh, your community and the world at large so source is saying you have a you have a great heart you know your heart is in the right place but you're also very fragile right so focus on the thing using this time when we're in this new moon phase in this uh super new you and all of those things sagittarius to really sit with self to say i know i have a good heart towards people it's been hurt it's been broken and deal with your emotions what is keeping you from going inside your vault door and so everybody's vault door is different right because everybody is unique so one person's vault door could look like 
I need to grow my patience. So there's an abundance of patience in that vault door. Another person may say, I need to grow my um, career success or my prosperity or my uh, faith in source. And so there's an abundance of whatever it is you want. There could be several, whatever you want in there, right? So source is saying, have compassion for yourself. The only person that can save you from something that's causing emotional wounding is yourself. Like there's no spouse could save you. Your parents can't save you. Your adult kids can't save you. We don't have the power to save each other. As much dominion we have over all the things of the earth, we don't have dominion over each other. And that's where a lot of people go wrong. That's why people try to manipulate people because, you know, you have no, we know we don't have any control over each other. So that's, that's what you get. Um, you know, when you, that what, that's what happens, Sagittarius, when, <clears throat> when people can't manipulate you and they realize, Hey, you have your own mind, you have your own, they go straight into a smear campaign. So again, Release clown behavior. Somebody is saying um, release anybody who is exhibiting that. That's what I mean when I say release clown behavior. Because somebody's going to feel changed, liberated, and free. Here we have the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Wands. We also have the Page of Cups. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Hierophant card and also the High Priestess. Your intuition is so extreme. It's so heightened. Somebody has all the clairs, clairvoyance, claircognizance, clairsentience, clair voyance and also psychic ability so you have an innate spiritual understanding of what's going on here and why somebody's why people are exhibiting clown behavior you already know a lot of it has to do with people feeling like they've made foolish decisions in the past and just kind of sort of acting out in a sense so sources like get all of those types of energies from around you toss it into a burning bowl and move on with your life this is the eight of cups so that you can get re restructured like get restructured here. Somebody has definitely, like I said, looking for approval from certain energies. And so it's just like, mm -mm, I see you moving on, booked and busy and moving on. So there's somebody who definitely has you on their mind. You're heavy on their heart. Their energy is trying to pull you back through your emotions. So if you, if there's any cracks in your foundation, like I feel like I'm being, I'm left out of some things. I feel like I'm left out in the cold. I'm looking for other people's approval. That's how they're able to come in and create some kind of a, a tie between you and them. And they're able to reach in through telepathy. Here we have the queen of swords. And so swords wants you to sit on your throne, carefully vet your thoughts before making some decisions about some things, but your intuition is extremely heightened. And like I said, you have an innate spiritual understanding of why energies are the way that they are. Whatever it is, is highly manipulative and jealousy is one of those emotions there. So ven um, vengeance, all those kind of things. And so source is saying to you, if somebody can stay laser focused on their legacy, like in your, your purpose, this is what this sun card here for. It's like, I know why I'm here on this planet. There's not a human being on this planet that could stop or blood, doesn't matter who they are can't stop a block with sources already predestined for you. You came here with a purpose. Staying in your purpose, you're still going to get to this right here. Legacy wealth, still making a major impact, still booked and busy, not burdened and bitter. Somebody just has to stop going with everybody else's toxic flow. So when you think about cups energy, we're thinking about water, right? So if you can think of it this simple, Sagittarius, water takes the shape of whatever you put it in. So if you put it in a dirty cup, even if that that that's that dirt is stuck like hard dirt stuck to the side of the cups, eventually that water is going to loosen it up. And source is saying to you that toxicity, being around that type of energy, you drinking that, you ingesting that, or just being around it or washing your body with it, guess what's going to come in some kind of way through through your pores. You know, if you're washing yourself with it, if you're drinking it, you. Um, cleaning out your eyes with somehow it's going to come it's, it's being so I do see somebody saying I need to toss some things into a fire pit and I need to move on with my life I need I need to stop being around certain types of energies your intuition is telling you exactly what it is the sabotage sanctity through offering even the most mundane problem can become a sacrament mm -hmm. the most most mundane problem can become a sacrament here are the questions for this new moon 
Uh, first question is, what are the stories of your ancestors, comma, your past lives? The second question is, where do you need to go to heal your connection with your roots? Third question is, do you feel truly empowered in your relationships and your career? Fourth question, is there a deep trauma that you need to look at, heal and release during this moon? And then last but not least is, who are the people, meaning therapists, healers, and so on, who could help you dive deeper? And that's, that's not even including books, like that can really, really help you to dive deeper. So think about exactly how you want to move forward with something, but I do see booked and busy and not burdened at all. I don't see moving forward, you putting yourself, this is a, this is a simple solution. First of all, take some time, flush out all these toxins in your spirit by yourself. Okay. Do things that nurture you. Listen to chakra cleansing music, flush all of that out. Let source download some information to you through your gifts, like how you feel about things through your dreams, through your premonitions, deja vu. You can be literally standing at the kitchen sink and running water and information is coming to you. Drinking water information can, is coming to you, but source is saying to you, I'm trying to flush out all the toxins in your spirit about uh, from being around toxic energies, possibly even from your childhood between the ages of eight and 14, flush energies out so I can give you clear direction so you can stay in your light. That's where the protection is. So even if there's a spirit of fear involved, staying in your light, you're divinely protected, no matter who it is, no matter who it is or what it is. Source has a way of getting the message across no matter who it is. So here we go. Burning bowl ritual came out twice. So you can get laser focused, locked in and laser focused. That's right. Seven and eight. Seven is where source is saying to you, I'm giving you lightning insight into what's really going on. And I need you to toss fear, doubt, uncertainty, or whatever that's not working for you into a burning bowl. It's not like if you're tossing names, the person is going to catch on fire or start breaking out in a sweat. That's not how it happens. Source is saying, you're the, the dark side of number seven, before you toss something into a burning bowl, is like, why don't people understand, you know, my heart? Why don't people understand my clear water heart? I have a clean heart towards energy. They don't need to understand. You understand. It's that you're not, they're not, you know, they're not your God. So source is saying, when you get clear about what your purpose is, this number eight right here, and you recognize that some people... And this is what I'm talking about, clown behavior, either succumb to passive and powerless behavior or they are, they are um, forceful um, and succumbing to passive and powerless behavior is an energy who feels like they made so many horrible decisions in their lives that it's easy for them to be under control of energies that that are like those bullying type of energies materialistic, forceful, egotistical kind of energy. Nevertheless, number eight is out of alignment. When your number eight is aligned, Sagittarius, you know exactly what your purpose is on this planet. You know that you have good product and services, gifts and talents, God-given gifts and talents that's going to create um, infinite amount of resources where you can help make this world a better place. And that's what Source is trying to get somebody to do is like toss all that stuff that is counterproductive to your purpose into a burning bowl, release it. Release it, release it, release it. And whoever is connected to it, release them too. So let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see what else we have going on here. Let's see. Be bold and make the first move. That's right. Be bold and make the first move. your path. That's it right there. Dear Lord, help me trust that there's a plan far beyond what I can see through my fears and illusions. That's right. It's your path. How do you want your path to turn out? So I do see, you know, adaptability is a good thing when you're around clean hearted people, when you're around positive energy, where creatively People are talking about aligning with each other, winning together, all of those things. But when you're around toxic energy, mm -mm. they smell different because everything living has a scent. So toxic energy smell like toxin. You can just smell it coming. It's just everything about their energy is just reeking of just 
gossip and messiness and trying to hurt people and all of that. So source is like, that's not the frequency that you're on. So rid yourself of all of that. Flush it all out. Here we have honey. Here we have number 18. The sweetness of you swells in the grace of your pull. Oh, so beautifully lethal. Mm -hmm. So source is saying to you, the rebirth side of you is not trying to be around energies that are lethal because they too have a scent. So, uh, and let's get ready to close it out. 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 13, you are conscient, you are a conscientious worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily, as you work steadily towards your goals. 13, 1 and 3 is 4. Source is saying when your number four is in line, you know that you are a divine being of light who's having a human experience. So it doesn't matter whose energy connected to you. They give off the scent, uh, scent of being lethal. You're divinely protected. And source is saying be confident in knowing that. Be confident in knowing that. Success. Affirmations for success. I am attracting everything I need, period. I am full of highly profitable ideas. I am grounded. I am connected to my highest calling. I am pushing the boundaries of the ordinary. What's for me will always be for me. I am committed to my purpose. I am making necessary connections. I am connected to all that supports my highest good. That's right. That's what Source wants somebody to know is that you're about to be your your gifts are definitely making room for you booked and busy you'll be able to defend your decision to move on from energies that have burned you out burned you left you in a state of confusion caused you to be angry unnecessarily you're just moving away from clown behavior that is what i have for you sagittarius um i think i gave you the questions for the moon and scorpio i will try to put the moon the questions for the moon and scorpio below because the moon is going to move from libra into scorpio on sunday so i'm going to try to put them below the videos for everybody's video but that is what i have for you again happy solar eclipse happy uh new moon in libra and i will see you all on motivational monday bye